Hey, what's up my good people? When you see this in your yard, I bet you don't like it. I don't like it either. So, I'm gonna be cutting this and I'm gonna be trimming all the way down there. But to do that, I'm gonna need my Yobi trimmer. So, it's right here. Just I landed on this side, but it doesn't have the string. So on today's video, the main purpose of the video, I'm gonna show you how to put a string this string inside here how do you feed the string in here so if you're new to my channel kindly hit that subscribe button and if you like this video give it a thumbs up let's get started so step one make sure you find this hole i'm gonna put feed a string through this hole and it's gonna go through towards this hole so make sure the hole is lined up and it's lined up so let's feed the string right there so feed the string right there make sure the string goes straight and it's coming through the other side and then after you do that make sure you have two tails of the string that are equal there you go once you have two tails that are equal and then you come with the spanner this is the the spanner I'm talking about it came with the Ryobi so these are some of the ha hardware that come with the uh, Ryobi uh, trimmer that you don't want to lose so hook it up right there and you start twisting clockwise as you twist the string is lapping itself in the string feeding uh, whatever whatever the thing that hold that string so we're gonna keep going until all the string is gone the reason why i'm holding like here and not like here because these the two three right here they are really worn up so i'm really trying to beg my my tool to stay in there so you're gonna feed it until you have a tail a short tail that's slightly short uh, than uh, this knife here this is a knife that cuts the excess string so on this side I'm good and on this side it's a little bit taller so I'm gonna let it when it spin I'm gonna let this one will be get cut right here and will be equal with this side and that's how you feed the string now I'm gonna put these together right here and to do that you just line up that hole right there see it's all it in and then we're gonna lock it you see this knob right here and it's all good now let me show you how to get it started first of all make sure your machine has the this is a blow we don't need it right now has enough fuel this is my fuel reservoir it's uh, halfway so i'm gonna add a little bit So I'm using the regular fuel and this is a gasoline I mix it with the oil there is specific oil for uh, for the two cycle engine and you mix it 50 to 1 all right so this one is already mixed so I'm just going to add a little bit more here should be enough well, there we go my reservoir is full so now to get it started I'm gonna come right here 
right now it's on the run we're gonna bring it down all the way to the boot the blue tab right here says full choke when it's there you know come here to this knob right here tap it about 10 times from there you're gonna hold this trigger three times and then try to to, to start it Alright, that's normal. It's gonna do that uh, the first time. You're gonna push uh, three times more. One, two, three. And this time, move from the level from blue full choke to about halfway, where the, we have the white tab. And this time, I'm very sure it's gonna start. Let's go. Once you get it started, make sure you put it to the line. Let it run a little bit, maybe two, three seconds. Then from there, I'm gonna land uh, my string and it's gonna get cut to the side. and it's gonna stop let me show you the string now the string now is uh, to the size as you can see it's shorter than uh, it's shorter than this knife right here same thing on this side and you want the both tails to be the same length so from there the machine is ready to go let's get it started And that's how you feed the string to the trimmer. So thank you guys for watching. If this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and stay tuned. See you on the next video.